But for those who do use Firefox, I'm going to click and either go up to Firefox if you pinned it, or again, you can type in the name of it and open it. You can choose to import your bookmarks from Internet Explorer if you like, or, or you can choose don't import anything. So I'm going to import mine. You can also check to make this your default browser if you want. I'm going to uncheck that because I don't want Firefox to be my default. Click Not Now. So the first thing I like to do is up at the top in this empty space is right click and add the menu bar. For some of our users that use the toolbar in Firefox, you can right click Bookmarks Toolbar. To update Firefox, you just go up to Help and then come down to About Firefox. So it looks like there is an update, so we're going to let that run its course. And then click Restart to update. All right, so now we are up to date. Now, if you remember, every end of January, beginning of February, there's a new SSL certificate for Barracuda. And if you don't have it every time you go to an HTTPS website, it may or may not display correctly. So what we want to do is add the cert. So we'll go to HTTP colon whack whack journaling .net slash guest. About halfway down the page, there's a link for the certificate. You want to click that and then trust this certificate authority to identify websites. It's the first checkbox. Click OK. So now we have that. So if we browse to an HTTPS website, we shouldn't have any trouble browsing. You may wish to change the home page. So that's over here on these three little bars. And then under options. And then right here is the home page. So you can change it to whatever you would like. I'm just going to make it the district web page for right now. So that'll automatically save once you close out. So if we close out of Firefox and reopen it, the district website should be my home page. And it is. We can also turn off or make exceptions for pop ups. So if you remember, anytime you get a new machine when you go to Skyward, if you don't check mark the box after you log in the first time, to allow pop-ups from this website, you'll have to log in twice every time. So we can make exceptions in Firefox. If we go down to content on the left-hand side, and then this one where it says pop-ups, we can go to exceptions, and then add the website address, which is skyward.clsd.net. Allow. If you're in special ed, you might also want IEP writer. Last thing we'll go over is bookmarks. You may have on your old machine exported your bookmarks from Firefox. So if, if you haven't or would like to know how to do that, I'm going to do that first and then we're going to import them. So we're going to go to bookmarks at the top and then show all bookmarks. And then this import and backup. So first on your old machine, you should have exported bookmarks to an HTML file. That will back up any bookmarks you have that aren't on the toolbar. If you have ones that are on the toolbar, you actually have to make a folder in your bookmarks first. And I always call it just toolbar. And then copy the bookmarks from, from this spot. You can do it by control A. That'll select all of them and then drag them to this one. So now they're in here. So now when we run this backup, it'll actually export them. Otherwise, anything in the toolbar won't be backed up. So we go to Import and Backup, Export Bookmarks to HTML, save it wherever you know you can find it to back it up. So I'm going to name it Firefox Bookmarks, and save. All right, so that's what you should have done on your old computer. Then on this new computer, we want to go to 
bookmarks, show all bookmarks, import and backup. And now, now we want to import bookmarks. And then we want to find where our bookmarks were saved. So here's where I have my bookmarks saved. Open. So now it, it'll import them. Now I got to take my toolbar ones, find that folder we created, hit Control A to select all, and then drag them back into the bookmarks toolbar on the new machine. And then this folder is now empty, so I can just right click, delete. So that's all we need to do for Fire.